Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on My Crypto Journal. In the past couple of days we've seen some alt bounces here and there, but nothing really substantial. I've been keeping my eyes out on alts that might have the potential to make some runs and today I'll be going over one of them, Algorand. Coinbase has announced that they are listing Algorand and the news managed to pump up the price. So in today's video, I'll be going over what I think Algo could do in the days to come. Is this price increase going to stick or is it just a trap to take us lower? I'll also briefly be covering Bitcoin as well since it has seen some action. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Last week, Bitcoin managed to run from around 9.3k all the way up to 12.2, making its way to this downward triangle resistance. Now, nothing has really changed in terms of Bitcoin. We're still trapped in this triangle. It's not really clear whether we're going up or down. But for those of you who have been following the channel, know that I'm more bearish than bullish on Bitcoin. Now, that could change depending on what Bitcoin's price action does in the coming weeks. But as of right now, it's not looking very clear. You guys can see we're still in this triangle. The price is trapped in this range. And until we get up out of here, it's not going to be clear whether we're going up or down. A couple of problems I have for a bullish scenario on this chart is that the volume really isn't there. We can see that the volume has been steadily declining as we've been in this 9 to 13k range. But that could change really quickly, especially if we manage to break out of this triangle. And you guys can see that I have this red line over here around the 13k region. That's another form of resistance that we're going to have to pass through. If we do manage to close on the daily above this little zone over here, above 13,000, then I would be more inclined to believe that we're going to be making the move up to 20k. But until then, I'm leaning towards the bearish side. And the same thing goes for the bearish side. Until we close below this support zone over here, it's not really going to be determined that we are turned bearish. Right now, we're just in this range constantly trading from the bottom to the top. And at some point, I do expect that to change. We can see that the triangle is closing in. And by the time we get to the end of August, something should happen. Now, the timing of these things is almost impossible to nail down. So this is just a guesstimate throwing it out there. Just because the pattern shows me that by the time we get to August, the price actions should have squeezed enough, giving it enough pressure to bounce in either direction. But as for now, I do expect Bitcoin to bounce off to 10.7, maybe head back to 11.6. But I'm not really interested in trading this range for Bitcoin. I'm more interested to see what happens after we pass 13K or fall below 9K. But as for now, let's move on to the main topic of today's video, Algorand. So over here we have Algorand. And out of all the coins out there, Algorand seems to be the one that has the most promise. Uh, not a lot of coins have managed to make the moves that Algorand has. We've managed to come up around 60% off of the bottom and continue to maintain price action above that bottom. That's a good sign for me right there. Now last week Coinbase did announce that they'll be listing Algorand on their platform. And prior to the announcement, we saw this move come in. Now I mentioned in my Tezos video that this move over here was most likely the result of somebody knowing that the announcement was gonna happen before actually being released to the public. And another coin that has similar price action to Algorand is Dusk. We can see the same kind of candle come in here. I wouldn't be surprised if some news got announced to push Dusk a little bit higher. But let's get back to the main topic at hand. Now the question is whether Algorand has the space to go higher or is this move it and we're simply going to go towards the downside and break this bottom. Well that's what I'm going to be figuring out here. We can see that Algorand is currently trapped inside some kind of triangle right now. Whenever we hit the top side of the triangle, price is getting pushed towards the downside. And whenever we've touched the bottom side, the price is getting pushed towards the upside. So right now, we don't really have a lot of indication whether this move is actually going to take us higher. However, we can position ourselves to take advantage in case a bigger move is coming up. I would definitely be looking around this spot for Algorand to possibly turn around and give us a break of this triangle towards the upside. I do think it's very likely that we head towards the downside over here, possibly meet up with the green moving average, which happens to be the last moving average, and lines up with where the bottom of this green triangle pattern is currently at. However, on the flip side, a break of the triangle towards the downside would signal that we're probably heading towards this support. And if we manage to break down below this support, then we're probably headed back to the bottom. And most likely, worse than that, we're probably going to break this bottom. If this move is to take us higher, I would expect us to hold this bottom and possibly make moves towards the upside. Otherwise, I don't really see Algorand doing much. The good news is right now that we're holding above the moving averages, which will most likely support the price action and possibly push price towards the upside once we get towards the bottom of this triangle. But as of right now, it's very hard to tell which direction we're going to be headed in, namely because the volume has been dying off drastically. We saw this volume come in here, but ever since we've had a little bit of spikes here and there and not much has come of it. Now, most of you are probably wondering where could Algorand go if this move does take us higher and we do manage to break out of this triangle. Well, if we look here to the left side, we can see that we have some resistance, not really that much because of the history is a little lacking and we've been heading straight down since its release. And right away, I do see some kind of resistance coming up if we do manage to break out of this triangle. Over here, we can see around 
this spot right here we do have a lot of price action being supported on this line we have one touch two touches and three touches of support so that's going to be a definite area where Algorand could possibly turn around or have some trouble breaking at least. I, I think it's highly unlikely that we break this spot on the first try. So that would be my first part where I look to take some profit. And if I measure that from the bottom of the triangle to the top, that's about a 75% move. Not bad at all. However, I do like to stay conservative in my profit taking zones. So I'm going to have something a little lower in case we don't manage to get up that high. And the next spot would be around the 50 fib. And that would bring us to around 40% profit. Definitely a more conservative and safe profit taking zone. These would be my two main profit taking zones really. I'd have one around just under the thousand level, which right there and then strikes me as a good spot because it's under the thousand psychological level. That's a good number or a good spot to take out some profit in my opinion. And if we do manage to get above here, then 1,150 seems like the next spot to do so. And after that, I'd probably go flat, maybe leave a little bit in, in case we manage to go higher. But in the conditions the alt market is at right now, I don't think that's likely. I think it's more likely that we retrace after we hit the 50 fib. So definitely something to keep your eye on. Whether we're going to do this move is currently unclear. Like I said, this triangle doesn't really give me that much information to work with. All right, so that's the bullish scenario. Now, let's say this trade doesn't work. And there is a possibility that this trade doesn't work because I can't see the future, guys. I can only prepare myself for the possibilities that are to come. With that being said, there is a possibility that we actually don't do the move and this 60% candle that we had here was the move because there's another chart that looks very similar to Algorand and has played out in a more bearish scenario depending on how you look at it and that coin happens to be Phantom so let's compare the charts real quick on the right side we have Phantom on the left side we have Algorand now let me explain to you guys why I'm comparing these two charts because they're very similar to me over here we can see that this move that we had on Phantom represents the candle we had on Algorand on the left this is where this is where it all starts we then get a sort of triangle pattern on Phantom, which is not exactly similar to Algorand, but these triangles do come in different shapes and sizes. We also have the support zone that Phantom managed to hold for, for around a month. Now we've been holding this zone for around 15 days, so not quite as long, but keep following along here. Phantom managed to make another 44% move, just barely getting back to the highs we had when we first made this move. So Algorand does have the potential to hit this resistance and then fall back down. We, we can see what happened to Phantom after we managed to get back to that level. We actually dropped below the support zone and broke the bottom. That's what I mentioned at the beginning of this video. I don't want to see Algorand break below the support zone because this on the right side you guys can see is very, very possible. And that's quite a steep drop. That's around a 50% drop. And you can be sure that there were people out there who were buying this thinking it was going to the moon, uh, hodl and all that kind of bullshit. And now what I'm seeing on Phantom is a bear flag. And that's a sign to take us lower. So that's why I'm saying that it's not guaranteed that Algorand is definitely going to go higher. It has the potential. It does look a little better because over here we can see on Phantom when we were down here, we weren't above the moving averages. But on Algorand on this side, we happened to be above them. But even when we got above them on the right side, even after we got above the moving averages, it just all came shooting down. So it's very important to protect ourselves with stop losses to avoid such huge losses. A 10% loss, even a 50% loss won't break your account. But a loss like... 40% might just destroy half your account actually. So something to keep in mind when looking at this trade is that it doesn't have to work and you might have your reasons why you think this coin is amazing, but trust me, when you look at every other coin out there, there's probably some guy in there that thinks the same thing and look what has happened since 2017. Honestly, if these coins keep going lower and breaking bottoms, there's no telling how low we could go. And with that being said, there are some coins that are gonna survive and the ones that survive are gonna give us the best opportunities. So what I've found for the past two years is that sitting back and just watching these alts just go lower and lower and waiting to pick them up at the right price is probably the best strategy. Of course, there is the potential to trade these bounces here and there, but you have to know what you're doing and you have to know when to get out and you also have to know where to put your stop loss so you don't lose or break your account. So with all that being said, guys, I've given you the bullish, I've given you the bearish scenarios. Hopefully you guys have the information to make the best decisions. As usual, this is not financial advice. This is just my thoughts and opinions that I'm just sharing that with you guys. I'm documenting it with you guys and sharing my learning experience because really that's what I'm doing is I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure out how I can capitalize on the markets to give me the most I want out of life. And that's what it comes down to, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. I post twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. I hope whatever you guys got planned works out for you. But as usual, guys, I will see you on the next one. Stay safe out there, everyone. Peace.